Hello, welcome back. Welcome to the course of Unix for Tester, in which I'm going to talk about uh, all the Unix concepts required for manual tester and automate it. Uh, how we can automate basically all those concepts like uh, running uh, your shell script and doing SFTP operations, executing commands, which we can incorporate basically in your test automation framework so that we can achieve uh, your end to end uh, test automation. And in fact, we can use it along with any uh, test automation tool okay so uh, let us focus and talk about architecture of unix okay so let me switch to my paint and let me sh tell you something okay so and when i say architecture what comes in my mind how uh, my particular operating system will be interacting with hardware and other stuff right so let us say i have my hardware at the central place okay i have this my hardware okay now uh, when I say hardware, it is my uh, hard disk, it is my RAM, it is my processor and other stuff. What in all I/O operations can happen? Like I have my printer connected, or uh, some uh, multimedia devices are connected, and many other things. Okay, so all those are my hardware. Okay, so now as a user, I cannot go to my uh, hard disk and I can copy files from one location to another, or uh, I cannot directly connect my pen drive to the hard disk and. Uh, uh, go to hard disk and copy file from um, hard disk to pen drive or I cannot go and execute any command and any stuff I cannot do directly right so in order to interact with hardware okay there is something and uh, okay that something is it's my unix kernel okay what is this unix kernel and all I'll talk in a shortly Give me a second, Unix. Unix kernel. Okay. Now, uh, what is this Unix kernel? So basically, this kernel is the basically the hub of operating system. It is responsible for allocating time, memory, and other stuff. And all. I'll talk about that shortly. Okay. Now, I can again uh, due to some reason I cannot directly go and interact with. Uh, hardware that i already explained and on the on the top of hardware there is something called as unix kernel which can interact with hardware but again i cannot interact with uh, unix kernel because it is at a very high level which is responsible for handling all the file operations communication operations based on the system called what it gets from operating system because unix kernel is not the operating system now on the top of unix kernel there is something called as shell okay there is something called as shell and shell is something we will be interacting with okay so whatever we do so like whatever i do like i execute some command or i do compile my programs right whatever operations i do with my unix system so all that stuff i am going to do on shell script okay so basically this is how the complete architecture of my uh, unix is okay so hardware i have at the centralized place i cannot interact with hardware so i have something in between that which is unix kernel which is responsible basically for allocating the time and memory to the programs which i am going to execute from my shell okay and your unix kernel is also responsible for file storing communication in response to system calls and many many other stuff okay and again uh, as i said earlier i cannot directly go to my unix kernel and execute my commands or do the compile compilation things and other things i cannot do that so in between that we have one more thing called as shell which basically acts as an interface in between user and kernel okay so this is what i have drawn and let me show you the same give me the same i will miss the ppt here it is okay so I mentioned the same thing over here like I have hardware at the centralized place then I have Unix kernel which is basically as I said again responsible for performing various thing allocating time memory handling system calls file store and rest of the stuff and post that we have kernels interface I said kernel interface which is basically my shell okay and which is the kind of interface in between my uh, user as a me as a user and my uh, operating system kernel okay so and then on the top of uh, shell i can run various utility programs okay various application program utility programs whatever i want to do with my unix system okay let us understand it in better way we have something called as kernels okay so if you see my presentation again okay i have something called as unix kernel okay I, we we all know hardware 
that's fantastic we all know ram we all know hydrix and rest of the stuff fine let us try and understand what is unix kernels okay and what it is purpose so unix kernel is basically used to schedule the program basically manage the data file access and storage uh, enforcing security uh, and performing all hardware access related things okay so in short i can say like the kernel is the lowest layer of my operating system so my operating kernel and my shell both are the part of my operating system only because i'm going to install my operating system onto the hardware but both are separate component me as a user to, to me as a user okay so kernel is basically the lowest layer of my operating system and it accounts for hardware devices data storages executing other regularly scheduled tasks okay so this layer is basically uh, machine dependent okay because my dep depends on hardware to hardware unlike rest of the operating system uh, and uh, i can say like individual tasks that a uh, user performs uh, constitute separate processes so it's the ta is it's the process uh, sorry it's the responsibility of kernel to uh, constitute or to create the process based on user request okay the users usually run many processes concurrently during the normal operation because uh, unix is multi user multitasking operating system okay now uh, next what i want to show you is the init program okay so whenever you boot your operating system init is a very first program uh, which kernel uh, runs okay so init i'm going to talk about init in one of the video where i'll talk about commands various commands okay so let's skip it as of now and then on the top of kernel we have something called a shell okay so shell um so if we work with windows operating system i have good graphical user interface which i can work with i can browse the folders i can browse my uh view uh sorry uh web browser uh for multiple websites i can play a video i can i can, I can do many stuff okay uh, likewise in unix we have shell only to interact with my unix operating system okay uh, in short to interact with kernels which will do all the things for, for me like as i said scheduling the program managing file executing the things and blah 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 all the stuff shell is just a medium to um, just a medium in between kernel and myself because i don't understand the language of kernel kernel don't understand me so shell is the medium okay uh, so shell represents uh, each user a prompt which is my terminal it interprets command type by user whatever command command i typed into uh, command prompt or my terminal like i use ls to get a list or i use copy command move command uh, search mode command and i execute shell scripts and many many other things i do right so to interpret the command what i'm trying to execute what i'm trying to enter uh, it's the duty of shell and shell will convert that to my kernel so that kernel can execute that those things on my hardware shell is basically provide again a user or programming environment users of operating system do not interact directly with kernel because of this incapability okay user commands are sent to the kernel via shell as i said this part of the operating system is a high level programming language that interpret user commands execute the appropriate program send the request to the kernel and deliver the resulting output to the user i can get back my output uh, from the on the same terminal right the shell is an interface that let you customize your user environment and automate the complex operation for which unix is made up of okay made up for right um, basically there are uh, that that is what basically the shell is and we have different types of shell okay so basically we have uh, c shell which is also known as uh, buckle shell which is uh, for BSD buckle software distribution and we have many other shells like T shell, taco shell, then we have bone shell, we have uh, corn shell and many other things. Those are the type of shell but we do not care about those things. Okay, so this is what the architecture of Unix is. Okay, let me switch to my 
presentation over here again uh, just a quick overview what i just talked i have a hardware in the place in the center uh, which is my ram hard disk and rest of the stuff i cannot go and directly interact with my hardware so uh, there should be something which understands the language of hardware or which can communicate with hardware that is the part of in fact that is the uh, complete uh, duty of my operating system but in operating system uh, in, uni in unix terminology it is divided basically in two things unix kernels and shell okay so Unix kernel is basically uh, is, it is the lowest layer of operating system and it is responsible uh, to uh, interact with my hardware and uh, something in between user and me okay and that something is called as a kernel interface which is a shell in this case okay so whatever I do in Unix I do it on shell because I can understand what shell is saying and uh, Vice versa, right? I cannot directly go and interact with kernel because we are unable to uh, interact with each other. So whatever I do, like I, I execute uh, any shell script or the utility programs given by Unix or uh, all the, I can install all the compilers and interact with that. I can do all the things on shell. Okay. So that's basically I wanted to talk as the architecture of Unix. Okay. So. In my next video, I'll be talking in detail about uh, the different utility programs, what um, uh, testers use in their day-to-day -day life. Um, that means, in short, various commands. And then we see the, about shell script. Then we'll see how we can use Putty, uh, basically, Venus City and uh, all those stuff. And then we'll move to the automation part, like how we can automate all the things what we do as a manual testers, like file transfer from here and there then um, executing the shell script verifying the files and many other things right so we'll be doing it in two way using uh, putty uh, tools and by using uh, external apis like we have some apis for java some api for c sharp and we have many other things okay so that's sort of the complete aim of uh, for this video courses okay so stay tuned thank you